Good afternoon, friends and film fans. I am reporting live, not live, I mean, it's gone up on YouTube, but I'm here on my drive, um, not in the cinema car park, but I have just come from watching Wonka and I wanted to give my thoughts on it for my channel. And I have to say, I absolutely bloody loved it. My goodness me, what a jolly little film that was like I don't think I can find fault with it and also I think to try and find fault with it would be really mean because it has so much heart and so much warmth and so much festive wonderful chocolatey joy in it that to start picking it apart would just make you like a proper Scrooge First and foremost, it's not a Christmas film. I've just given the impression that it is. But releasing it at Christmas, absolutely the right thing to do because it is festive in the sense of that it brings joy. So this is a prequel, um, a new story about the origins of Willy Wonka, how he came to become um, a chocolate maker, a chocolatier. And he is played by the um, heartthrob Every uh, Young Girl's Dream, Timothy Chalamet. And I've seen him in various things up to this point. He was in uh, Greta Gerwig's version of Little Women. I saw him in June. Um, what else have I seen him in? Various bits and bobs. And I've been a little bit dismissive of him. Perhaps I've dismissed him as being pretty, but all a bit style over substance. I'm here to tell you, he is charm and innocence personified in this film he is absolutely friggin adorable and no i don't fancy him because i'm old and he's not i don't know how old he is it could be like in his early 30s for all i know it doesn't matter mid 20s early it doesn't matter because i didn't fancy him he's pretty don't get me wrong he's got lovely lovely curly hair but in the title role of Willy Wonka he's just got this like I say this real innocence and charm about him that he takes things at face value he tries to see the best in people he's ridiculously optimistic despite his um situation being fairly bleak at times and there's just a real lovely openness to his face there's a lot of close-ups on him and you can't kind of help but love him. He's just absolutely, yeah, adorable is the word I'm sticking with. And then, as if he, you know, lovely face alone and all the charm and what have you and all the wide-eyed wonder, the pipes on him. Oh, my goodness. Like, I knew this film was a musical going in. I knew that the songs were written by um, Neil Hannon of The Divine Comedy which you can very much tell because the lyrics are glorious and witty and funny and everything you'd expect if the man who wrote for the Divine Comedy wrote songs. Um, but it literally opens with Wonka singing as he arrives into port in an unknown country because they never actually say where they are in the world and it really doesn't matter. There's a real mix of accents and, you know, people are from all over the place and there's American actors with American accents. He himself has an American accent, but then there's very British actors. Um, you've got Matt Lucas in there. You've got half the cast of Ghosts. You've got um, Olivia Coleman, the comedian and actor Tom Davis. Brilliant. Um, Rich Fulcher, who I know best from The Mighty Boosh. Um, so it's a real mix and they never actually say we're in England, we're in the States, we're in... They just don't say. It's this quite... It's quite whimsical. It kind of looks like London in some ways, but then by not specifying, I think that helps with the sort of charm and the wonder of it all. Um, who else is in it? Jim Carter, Charlotte Ritchie, Phil Wang, Izzy Sooty. It's like, have you been on Taskmaster? Would you like to be in this film? Half the cast of Ghosts have already said that. Um, Just loads and loads of familiar faces. It's really, really charming. Um, And it opens with Wonka singing. And his voice is just beautiful. Like, we're not talking Ewan McGregor belting out The Hills Are Alive with the Sound of Music and Moulin Rouge and literally melting everybody's brain because they were like, oh, right, okay. So Ewan McGregor can not only sing... He's like a high tenor and his voice is incredible. 
um, Chalamet's voice is just really, really lovely and sweet and it suits him and the songs are really charming and lots of other people sing and there's big tappy tappy song dance numbers but it all just sort of fits in some of them are part of like fantasy sequences some of them are literally people just singing and dancing on the streets but i'm i'm here for it i love a musical i love it when people burst into song for no reason i'm you know i'm a diehard musical fan and the songs are brilliant really witty all of the vocal performances are great so he arrives and he's there to make his fortune, but he's scuppered at every turn by the sort of chocolate cartel, as they're referred to, the sort of three um, three head chocolate makers in town, Slugworth, Prodnose, and I've forgotten the other one, something Gruber. Can't remember. Um, but they basically rule the town and not the city and they, they don't want Wonka on their patch and they don't like that he sells his chocolate at an affordable price. And he's sort of shot down at every turn but his optimism just keeps propelling him forward and you root for him so hard because he's impossible to dislike and he is magical in a way that sort of works um Hugh Grant plays the token Umpa Lumpa there's only one in this film rather than an army of them as we've seen in previous Wonga films um I'm sure I've read some stuff lately Hugh Grant saying it was an awful experience for him that is a shame because he's very good in the role oh Ron Atkinson's in it as well um, it's almost like a Richard Curtis film, but not made by Richard Curtis. A lot of his big hitters knocking about his faves. Um, it's directed by the guy who directed Paddington and Paddington 2, which makes perfect sense. Paul King, the guy's name is. It's just, it's so charming. It, I, like I say, I can't fault it. It made me feel warm and fuzzy. I sensed the peril. I rooted for Wonka and his new friends. I just, I wanted the... Chocolate Cartel and Mrs. Scrubbit, who's played beautifully by Olivia Coleman, as a proper sort of cockney, mean, um, she runs like a guest house, but ties everybody into contracts so then they have to stay to work off their debt. Um, she's absolutely brilliant. And it's just, it's faultless. It's just what you want at this time of year. I will watch it again. I probably will watch it again in the cinema. I didn't take my children today. Um because I went in the afternoon while they were at school. But if they want to go, I'll go again. Because it's, it's glorious. It looks great. It sounds great. The performances are brilliant. He is just... He's absolutely perfect. And I remember when he was cast, and I was probably, like I say, a little bit sniffing, a bit like, oh, really him again? Timothy Chalamet, as uh, Mark Hermode calls him. But he like I can't imagine anybody else playing it. And I love Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka. And Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka and in anything these days can quite frankly walk into the sea because I've, I've just got no time for him anymore from actually loving him back in the day I'm kind of done with him and I don't like the Tim Burton film at all because I don't know there was something with a Gene Wilder one it's very of its time and it's oddly German but I do love it and it is a classic and he is great he's got the captured the sort of enigmatic nature of Wonka perfectly um and the sort of deadpan comic timing. But Timothy Chalamet is playing him as a younger man before he starts out, or as he's starting out. It's just, it's perfect. And it feels like the world of Roald Dahl. You know, they've taken this character that he created all those years ago and they've reimagined it and given him a backstory. Not like the Tim Burton one where they clag on, oh, his father's a dentist and he's really mean. They've just given him this story. Sally Hawkins plays his mum in flashbacks. She's you know, in about three scenes, but she's superb in all of them because it's just Sally Hawkins. Um, and it, I just went with it. Like, it, it was perfect. It was like, it. what more could you want at Christmas or indeed at any other time of year when you feel like you need a pick-me-up? It does that. It's, it's all the joy of chocolate, but without the associated calories and or sins. I, yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was glorious yeah i like literally i've got nothing else to say go and see it take your kids take your mum take your elderly neighbor it's so charming it's wonderful it's warm it's fuzzy the songs are superb i can't fault it i refuse to try it's brilliant that's it katie out